To prevent my objects to be overlapping, I'm going to draw a line from quadrant and click somewhere here and hide this object. So click this drop down arrow and select, um, click this bulb to turn off the layer. Now I'm going to create this hand rest, but first I'm going to start drawing a rectangle. So line from in point, move your cursor upward for... 10.64 enter and 17.20 go downward I'm just gonna track follow the tracking line click that in point and delete this guide now I'm gonna apply fillet so inside the modify panel select fillet, fillet right click Select radius option and enter 3.52, which is this one here. Click that, right click to repeat fillet, click this one and click this one. I'm just gonna draw half of this one, so line. Uh, mid between two points shift right click and select mid between two points and just click here because what i'm gonna do is just mirror it later and uh, draw a line from in point and move it downward Ch change this to polar tracking so from the x-axis Move it downward and enter maybe about 10. Then press the tab key and enter minus 74 because it's below the x axis. And I'm gonna trim. So TR for trim command, enter twice. Click this one and maybe remove this one and this one too. All right, now join the segments. So J for join command. Select this one, this one, and this one. Now, I'm going to draw an object that I'm going to use to um, sweep. So, line. And the thickness is about uh, 0.52. Enter. And for... So the height is 0.52 and the thick and the length is 1.13, which is this one here. And the 0.52 is this one. All right, so line from in point and enter 1.13. Go downward, just track, follow the tracking line, click and click this in point. I'm going to join the segment, so J for join command, just window the whole thing. I'm going to copy this one because I'm going to use this other one later. Now, I'm going to use this one to sweep, so what I'm going to do is move, move to this uh, in point here. Alright, now, inside the modify panel, select a 3D rotate. And uh, hover over this um, blue color ring and uh, just click here to turn it around for 90 degrees so if I I'm gonna show you if it's perpendicular see it's perpendicular so this one this rectangle is per perpendicular to this curve all right now I'm gonna apply or I'm gonna use sweep command Select the object you want to sweep, right click, enter, and go down to the command window. I'm going to bring it here so it's easier for you to see. Base point. So I'm going to use this uh, midpoint here as base point. And for alignment, just click no here. And then select the path.
Now I'm gonna bring my object to front view and uh, mirror this one M I for mirror command and just snap the in point there and go upward as long as it's straight you can click anywhere and enter now the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, draw this portion here this one and I can delete this now I'm gonna snap no I'm gonna change this first to warframe and I'm gonna draw a line from in point so shift right click select in point and go sideways for again 6.2 so this is just a guide this line is a guide from in point or midpoint would be the best okay wait see see this one here so line from midpoint I'm gonna turn on my ortho mode so I won't make a mistake and travel to the left or to the right for 6.2 enter and uh, enter again now bring this to front view and draw a line from in point go downward and just trim so tr for trim command enter twice and just remove that now this is the point where i'm gonna start my line going downward so from this here from this point here to this point then i go downward for 3.77 so line from in point or that um, intersection and move below the x-axis and enter 3.77 and press the tab key quickly to enter the angle and enter minus 18 because our angle is or our object is below the x-axis there you go now I'm gonna offset this one for point five two go downward and click now I'm gonna use this line as a path for this uh, rectangle so sweep command select this object enter now move this one first from midpoint move it here and press the shift key and the wheel of your mouse at the same time and just to manipulate this around and then um, select 3d rotate and rotate this one for 90 degrees and I'm gonna check if it's perpendicular I could tell I could delete this now top view and you can tell it's uh, perpendicular to this uh, object all right now I'm gonna sweep this object now inside the modeling panel select sweep command select this rectangle enter and uh, select base point inside this um, I'm gonna make this okay select base point select this uh, in point so base point is this one and alignment click alignment and select no and select this path I'm gonna check with maybe I'm gonna use realistic here now it's um, very smooth here now I want this to be very smooth going downward and um, bring this to front view I'm gonna change this to um, wireframe I'm gonna draw a circle but first I'm gonna draw a line from the endpoint here move it uh, to a perpendicular point so shift right click and select uh, perpendicular 
and bring this again to front view draw a circle so see for circle and locate the center click that the midpoint and just snap that now i'm gonna extrude this one so this object if you project this object from front view from front view to top view you can see the extension here or the extrusion is six so what i'm gonna do is extrude this one click this drop down arrow select, select extrude command and enter six enter if i change this to conceptual you can see this uh, thing here that's sticking out i could remedy that by using press pull command hover over that area and let go click and let go and click again all right the next thing i'm gonna do is um draw a circle so front view and um draw a circle from midpoint to endpoint and extrude this one so this one here at the bottom the extrusion is uh, looking from side view the extrusion is 1.61 and if you look at from top view it's also i'm just gonna annotate from here to here is also 1.61 so just um it has to go to that direction so i'm gonna move this uh, circle so move from in point to in point now start my extrusion from that point so go to home and inside the modeling panel select extrude command and move to that direction and enter 1.61 and copy this one from center to the mid midpoint here now join the segments or combine by using union command so go to solid select union command and just window the whole thing I'm just gonna check uh, using realistic maybe move this one to remove the unwanted objects and delete those I'm gonna change this to x-ray and create this um, hand rest this uh, caution here so first uh, change the direction of your z-axis vector click anywhere on the screen and move it upward make sure your earth mode is on or polar tracking move it upward click because i'm gonna use this face here as my plane which is an x or x and y plane so this time i'm gonna use primitive solid and select box click this in point and this in point and extrude it upward for one unit which is this one here now apply fillet so go to solid so this is fillet edge so inside the solid editing panel select fillet edge right click select radius and the radius for this one i think is 0.5 enter and click this edge here this edge this edge and that edge enter and enter again let me check if it's 0.5 yeah this is 0.5 and also i'm just gonna dimension this uh, this one here is also 0.5 now apply fillet again so go to solid fillet edge right click select radius option and enter 0.5 enter and uh, inside the command window or command prompt select loop and select this edge uh, select next and accept and enter and enter again now i'm going to change this to realistic and apply materials no i can apply the materials later and i think this one is done and the next um part i'm gonna draw is the seat and the headrest and see you again please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified for the next tutorial